Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. This has only been two days since I got it back from repair and it blue screened me. Cause guess what update went back into this sucker. Okay, if you watched my, my video on that, I explained to you guys what went wrong with this Windows update with my computer and how it did a nasty. And it wasn't even a blue screen. Although Asus called it a blue screen thing, they just redid the image on the original SSD that I had put back in and the RAM before shipping it to them. Because, yeah, otherwise I may have lost my own toys, um, you know, if they would have had to replace the computer. So the advisement was put your stock RAM, stock SSD back in. This way you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, so the affected uh, update file is called KB5029351. It's what's screwing up computers. Now, I'm on the video here on YouTube, and I'm going to just read you the write-up he's showing. Microsoft has, re, uh, has received reports of an issue which users are receiving an unsupported processor error on a blue screen after installing updates release on August 22nd, uh, 2023. KB5029351, and then restarting their device might automatically uninstall to allow Windows to start up as expected. If this error, error occurs, we recommend you do not attempt to reinstall KB5029351. Next steps. After investigating these reports, we have found that the unsupported processor error was not caused by issues in the uh, KB5029351 and is limited to a specific subset of processors, which uh, we are collaborating with device manufacturers, OEMs, and will temporarily mitigate the issue by not offering the KB5029351 to Windows devices um, that might be affected by this issue. If you still experience this issue, please contact your device's processor manufacturer. Now, I have an Intel iCore 7 uh, processor in my computer. Um, the version off the top of my head, I don't know. But anyways, so I got blue screened this morning and I'm like, what? I've never been blue screened on this thing. Um, Cause what it happened to me, I had far worse issues to deal with. Um, so anyways, I've only had it back for two days and you know, that preview, I, I tried to not put it back in, right? But it did it anyways and um, so this was the other day when I was doing my updates and it's been running perfectly smooth ever since, which is like surprising, right? Um, so I didn't even get like overnight the last time this happened when it did the initial crash. So I uninstalled the update. Okay, so KB5029351 is now gone and it looks like Microsoft stuck to their word that it's not gonna go back in, at least not yet. So um, we have a security update for Microsoft Windows KB5029263, which is now gone in, which wasn't listed previous to uninstalling. I only had two updates, uh, the one on the very top, KB5029718, was there along with KB5029351, and I removed the 29351 update and then rebooted the computer, and it gave me this security update for Microsoft Windows KB5029. 263. So we'll see how lucky I get on this one. Oh, cross fingers. Seriously. You know, this stuff never happens on a Mac. Like, never. At least not my uh, hmm, over 30. Wow. I've been involved in Apple computers since 81, but as, a, as an actual certified tech um, since it's like 1990, so it's been like over 33 years of running and repairing Macs and owning my own Mac systems, I have never, ever had problems on a Mac like that. Like, I've never had that kind of a crash. Um, but, uh, in fact, I don't even think I've ever had a crash, other than once, but that was not an Apple thing. That was something else. Um, and, um, yeah, I lost all my data, so that kind of sucked, but that wasn't Apple's fault anyways. But I've never had anything OS-related go wrong on a Mac. But um, yeah, interesting. So, um, well, stay tuned for more. Uh, let's see how long things stay stable now. Uh, this is just getting nuts. So uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
do check out that update it's easy to get at go to control panels um, click on your programs and features and then select recently installed updates and if that update has not given you problems then don't worry about it um, but if it has given you problems especially a blue screen or what I went through yeah you're gonna have to get rid of that update and then reboot the computer um, and uh, in my case I couldn't even get to the update originally to redo it because it totally took down the whole system period um, you know and that really sucked um, but um, anyhow cross fingers knock on wood hopefully things continue to go good because yeah I'm about to clone this drive but thankfully it blue screened me and I got rid of that update well not thankfully I guess that it blue screened but at least now I know that when I clone the drive um, it's not going to put that update across and things should hopefully stay stable now but um, yeah because I never had a problem with this computer since I bought it until that update came through um, a couple weeks ago there so anyway that's it that's all thanks for watching catch you on the next one